Hello, everybody. My name is Philip. I'm here with Travel Trailer Times, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough on what I ordered for my new 2023 Ford F-350. I kind of tried to stay away from any things that would have delayed the build as my last pickup truck was totaled early, uh, early summer last year. And uh, with the inflated truck prices, the very expensive, you know, cost more than new used truck prices. And uh, with certain dealers trying to increase or put added markups on a lot of the in stock Super Duty trucks, I decided to go ahead and order a 2023 F-350 as the 2022 order banks closed very early. So I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a synopsis here, kind of quick walkthrough on what I ordered. So I went ahead and opted to get the Ford F-350. Uh, potentially in the future, I may end up wanting to tow a gooseneck. So the extra payload was the reason I went with the 350 over the 250, realizing that yes, it may have a little bit harsher ride. I also went with the antimatter blue. I kind of like the whole blacked out package truck look. And with the XLs, you're not able to get the blackout package. So I kind of went with the uh, the antimatter blue to give it that real dark. Sometimes it looks black, sometimes it looks dark blue appearance on it. And with the XL package, you get the black bumpers and the black grill. They might be things I changed in the future. I might try to black out some of the other things like the emblems and wheels. Um, if you want to go ahead, like, subscribe. As I do more with the truck, I will try to video a lot of that and or at least show the after pictures of what that stuff looks like. So I went with the F-350 crew cab and it shows a short bed in the picture here. It doesn't always change with the truck, but I went with the long bed configuration. I would have liked the 7.3 liter Godzilla motor. But to do that, I had to would have had to get a lot of the technology packages that I did not want. I didn't want the blue cruise or the automatic braking or a lot of that um, driver aid items that were required to get the 7.3 liter motor. So I went ahead and stick uh, went with the 6.8. I'll try to do some fuel mileage things and and different reviews on how that tows and everything else once I uh, get this truck in. I went with the four wheel drive. I think the XL packages are pretty much the only way to get a four by two anymore, but I went with the four by four because I would like that option. And we'll see how the differently geared 10 speed transmission does. I know it's different gearing, but it's still a 10 speed transmission. So I will try to do some reviews on different things about that. For the mini baby trimmer off-road package that's on the XL off-road package. I went to go ahead and get the 3.73 locking rear axle because that's required for that package. That's this one here. So the XL off-road package comes with the skid plates, um, the fording tubes, the 33 inch off-road tires. And uh, I've heard, you know, kind of build as the baby trimmer package. So I will try to uh, show a few things on that once it comes in on what that all entails once the truck arrives. Because I went with the XL off-road package, I did not go with the FX4 package because the only real difference uh, that would have been added by that is the different decal. The other thing I went with here, so we got the 33-inch uh, tall tires that come with the off-road package. I went um, with the option of getting the platform running boards because these are taller trucks and with my family, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to have running boards installed. I might want something different in the future, but at least now I'm gonna get a good set of running boards to make it easier for everybody to enter and exit the truck. I went with the regular removable tailgate. I know a lot of people really rave about that uh, tailgate step, but for me, I've never really used anything like that in the past and not really something I was looking for in this truck. So I did not opt to get that. I did opt to get the defrosting rear window. To do that, all of these three here have to come with the package, the privacy glass, the rear window sliding glass with the defrost and the rear privacy glass, which the privacy glass I kind of wanted anyway. 
And I had heard somewhere that the that that was not a combination that was available with the Excel package, but I was able to get my window sticker and it shows that on there. So we will see if that actually comes in and is delivered with this. And yes, I do have a window sticker for this truck. It was slated to have a week of January 23rd truck build. So by the time this video comes out, hopefully it'll have been produced. Uh, the order tracker for the US is not really showing too many updates. The only update we did get is it one showed up with the window sticker um, a couple days ago and then we got I was able on my Ford Pass app or Ford Connect app to put in the VIN number for my truck and was able to get that to recognize a vehicle. So hopefully that means the vehicle is actually made and will be on its way. A lot of this other stuff, the gooseneck prep package, um, I stayed away from all of that because I didn't want anything to delay my build. The remote start system, I went ahead and got that because then if you're off grid, you can still start your truck. You do not have to use the app to start it remotely. And the internet is required to do that. Skid plates come with the XL off-road package. I wanted the upfitter switches. So to do so, I needed to get the 250 amp alternator. So I went ahead and got that on it. I decided a little more comfort with the cloth seats. I had tried both of the seats um, in the previous years. And while the vinyl is fine, I kind of liked the cloth just a little bit better. So I went ahead and did that. I am always a big fan of being able to wash out my trucks. So while I still might do some sort of weather tech floor mats or something like that, I like the idea of having the rubber floor. So with the carpet delete, that's actually a plus in my books. Upfitter switches. I am kind of curious as to what size screen actually will come in these XL trucks. So when I do a walk around video when this truck is arrived, has arrived and is delivered, I will try to show that because I know it shows a real tiny screen here in the radio type for the truck, but then the Sync 4 picture right below it shows a larger screen. And I think it comes with an eight inch screen or something similar. Um, there's just not a lot of information out that I had found on the XLs and which screen they're coming with. So all in all, with the options I went ahead with, the current today's build price, which is more than when I had built it and ordered it, is 57155 So we will see once it arrives, if it has everything on it, if anything was changed. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing more about this truck or the walkthrough or anything else once I get it, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will try to do as many updates as possible and any changes that I might do or upgrades, show those as well. So thank you again for watching and I will try to release some more content here in the future about the 2023 XL Baby Trimmer F350.